Hey guys, it's Mike and Steven. Nurse Left to Customs. Tonight we're working on the Grand Wagoneer. Uh, finally back on this project, pretty heavy. So Steven is working on putting the fuel pump in from last time. So he's got it cut. I wanted to stop real quick because this is an important piece. Here's the most important word on here. Submersible. Make sure that your stuff is submersible because what'll happen is you'll be driving along and this will eventually degrade down in the fuel if you have a regular fuel line, not this submersible kind, and then your fuel pump will stop working. So anyways, that's the tip for right now. All right, Steven, tell us what we're doing. We're trying to figure out where we're gonna cut this at. All right, this obviously is the gas tank. So if it's all the way down, that's empty on the gas tank. We wanna figure out where we gotta go to be on the bottom of the tank, and then Steven's gonna cut the hose. Yep. Here we go. You like that? Damn, 100 PSI. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that little hose right there, $18. Yep. So, That's why also, he, he cut the line that runs to, or cut the metal feed when he did it and, uh, and flared the end. That way we can make sure we don't have any issues there. Yep. And that's it. And it fits. Bring it down. Yep. Y'all, look at this right here. So Steven's gonna flare this. We bought this filter and the rod came with it, okay? And then we're gonna run to where an AN fitting will bolt right in here and it'll come over and then down to the factory line there, give us our filter and everything. It's gonna be so nice. Huh? That's cool looking, man. Uh, yeah. I mean, dude. Love it. Look at that. Yeah. do work. All day. And we're just... We had to do a little bit more shit right here, but... Alright, guys. Fixing to run the wiring here. Uh, for the power for the fuel pump. So I'm going to drill a little hole in this to run the two wires through. Man, Steven's building the 180 to come off of the return side so we can run it down beside for the uh, return on it. Doesn't that look so nice? It did. It's probably not gonna be a 180. I'm gonna be like, I don't know yet. Whatever's gonna match that other one, huh? All right, we're gonna let him do that. I'm gonna start working on the wiring for the fuel pump, like I said. And so uh, we're gonna grab from this giant orange wire here because that is what is used in the factory FI Tech setup. So it'll be easy, be easy to find, all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna get to work with that. Ooh, look how nice it looks. Dang, dude, that's nice. Route, all right guys, time to route some wiring. So we've got it all loomed up here. I'm gonna take it and start routing it back down in there and back to the fuel tank. All right, so we got to get fuel line on this little, over this little piece right here. So we're going to do that right now. Make it easy to get to. I got one of these, which is a quick, what do you, what'd you call? Uh, quick, quick fuel line. Quick fuel line. Yeah. All right, so you take it. I'd use this on the old truck, LS swap. Clamps on, then you can just squeeze these, pull it right off. That way it's easy to get to. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, so we dug into the mound of wire connectors, and Steven had put in some LEDs into the big truck. And uh, so we grabbed one of these connections here and I'm going to make it where I'm going to snip it here. So we'll be able to unplug outside the uh, fuel tank. Then this will be, this will go inside the fuel tank. I'll clip here and make the wires on that end. <sighs> so I made a mistake. So I went ahead and uh, 
did it nice got the heat shrink wrap on everything problem with doing it like that is now i would have to drill a bigger hole so i'm gonna cut them off drill the hole and then put them on there all right it is hooked up zip ties to make sure it stays tight out through the top about to rtv that hole That'll work. And see, what you do is you take this, you put it in here, now we can plug it in. Okay, trying to do this without. So, plugins are about the length of what the factory plugins are for the gas gauge. And then the ground will go right up here to the point where it mounts to the frame. <laughs> 